Hey, everybody. Welcome to Community Fit, and in particular, a Move Lab Foundations class. I am your host, James, and I'm excited to be here virtually with you today. Uh, what you're going to need is a pillow. Now, this is just your standard kind of poly-filled uh, regular bed pillow, but if you don't have access to this, you can use a pro pillow or a couple of them. Maybe something about this size. I want to uh, advocate to not use something like a down pillow or something that's too squishy, and you'll see why here in a bit. If you don't have this available right now, you can use your floor. That works too. You can use like a rolled up or folded up blanket or even something like a uh, like a sweater or a sweatshirt kind of behind you. This will all be explained here in a moment. I'm going to talk for a little bit so that you can find this if you need. As I said, I'm James and this is Move Lab Foundations. If you are brand new to Move Lab and Community Fit, welcome. There's only one thing you need to remember for Move Lab, and that's our first and only rule. And that rule is whatever you are doing, however it is you're moving, whatever feels appropriate for you to do today is totally and completely 100% correct to do. There's absolutely no wrong way to move. There's absolutely no wrong choices here. They're simply your choices. So as we explore and play today, if you feel like you need a break, you need to just say no, or you wanna do something, you wanna do something differently, you wanna do something more or less, go ahead and do that. We always start with a little breath work, we go right into some nervous system warm-ups, and then we get into our movement exploration. We start off with the breath work and the nervous system tools so that you have something to help uh, calibrate and reset your nervous system in case things get worked up, things get anxious, and they're just really good tools to have. If you're interested in more nervous system specific tools, intention release, join us on Fridays for reset and restore. Hopefully by now you found the pillows that you're gonna use. Let's go ahead and get started. Get comfortable, sit down, lay down, whatever works best for you. You know what, after all of that, I'm actually going to reformat today. We're gonna to hold off on the breath work because we're gonna be doing a lot of that. I changed my mind again. <laughs> Here's what we're gonna do. I want you to just sit and breathe and just notice how and where you breathe because what we're gonna do with the pillow today might be a brand new way for you to breathe. And maybe we should have that baseline of, of what's going on to begin with. So I'm not even gonna cue the breath. I invite you to just breathe however you would normally breathe and maybe notice notice how fast how slow it is do you inhale through the mouth do you inhale through the nose or do you exhale how do you do that where does it feel like the breath goes is it in the front of the chest the side of the ribs the back the belly the neck does it feel like somewhere else just do a few more breaths two more Again, we're just collecting data right now. Good. Now, uh, put a pin in that. We'll come back to that here in a moment. Let's go into some nervous system warm-ups for today. Because some of you might get a little intimidated by what we're going to do today. It's nothing hard. It's just new. And sometimes newness brings up nervous system friction, stress. So... Let's warm our hands up. And then we're going to take these nice warm hands. We're just going to put them on the chest. See, do I like that? Do you like that? Does this feel good? Or is it more the belly that needs to go? Or maybe it's the neck or even the jaw. Just a little breathing. A couple more breaths. Good. From there, we're just going to look around the room. Go into our orientation practice. Orientation is just objectively noticing things in the room. What that might sound like here is plant here 
plants, window, door, handle. Just taking your time to just notice the things in the room. Rather than rushing to stare, rather than subjectively naming things in the room like plant that needs water, uh, pillow that shouldn't be over there, whatever it is, right? You're just instead naming. That's a pillow. That's just a plant. Just name it. What's above you? What's behind you? And then lastly, we'll end with a little bit of a sigh. Hmm. Sighing is sometimes the hardest one because we don't like the way we sound. We don't trust that we should be heard. Uh, there's a lot of weightedness in that size, so just give it a few more. <sighs> hmm. So when the going gets tough today, if it does, you can always do a little therapeutic touch. You can do a little orientation, or you can just do a little sigh. Great. Grab your pillow. We're going to lay it down uh, lengthwise, uh, according to the spine. Now, if you have, I want to caveat this, if you have a super sensitive neck, you might want a secondary pillow or even just like a towel or something for behind the head. Having said that, what I would um, implore you to try is a little extension in the spine to have your tailbone off of the pillow as much as possible and the head off the pillow. So if it's like, oh, this doesn't feel right. I would normally choose to lay like this. The earth, that's, that's the point, right? So if you are super sensitive, do the thing that you need. If not, I'm going to lie down. And yes, my head is off and my tailbone, my sacrum is also off. And I'm just going to make my arms work for me. They can be here, they can be here, really just whatever it is that works for you. Now you've done your baseline breathing. But let's try a different thing. On your inhalation, imagine that you can breathe through the back body. Maybe even thinking, on my exhale, <clears throat> I want to try and squish the pillow using my breath alone. And on my exhale, I relax, let my spine arch a little bit more, and the pillow gets to fluff up. Again, as I inhale, the back ribs fill out, push down, compress, squish the pillow. Exhale, relax, widen my six bones, let the pillow fluff back up. What I'm not asking is for you to use your ab muscles to squish the pillow, lifting the tailbone and possibly the head. Instead, my head and my tailbone stay down, and it is my breath and my breathing process that squishes into the pillow. What we're doing here is setting up um, an intention for today. We're partnering with the pillow. We're using the pillow for some sensory feedback and you're likely breathing in a whole new way. This is going to help with some of our back issues. This is going to help with some of our breathing issues. This eventually will help you find your abs in a new way, maybe even some back muscle in a new way when we get there. And really think of your body like a Christmas tree. And not always are all of the parts of the Christmas tree lit up, meaning you're not embodied in a certain area. The back body being a big one. So simply breathing, it's like we're turning on the Christmas lights back there. And we're creating a rule. I'm breathing into the pillow, which will be important because soon different portions will interface, touch the pillow more, and certain places will touch less. Your job is to breathe into the spaces, the places, the body parts that are touching the pillow the most, no matter where we go.
Now, from there, I'm going to push my right foot into the floor. And when I do that, it's like I'm going to roll over gently and squish more of the left pillow. Right pillow is fluffed up. My right side is unweighted. And I'm squishing the left pillow. Where do I breathe? How do I breathe? I breathe into whatever is touching the pillow the most. So my left side gets most breath. Exhale, come back to center, head and tail down. Left side pushes down, breathe over here, right side. Exhale, push down. Yawn or rolling over to the left, breathe. Exhale, center. Right side gets weighted, left side does the push. <sighs> Again. One more each side. Over here. Wow. <sighs> Inhale here, exhale, tuck the tail and push down into the pillow as you exhale. <sighs> inhale, tailbone touches the mat, I breathe into my back body. Exhale, tuck and push down into the pillow. Inhale, Breathe into the back body. Exhale, tuck, lift your head, look for your belly button, squeeze and push down. <sighs> Inhale. Maybe you need hands behind your head. What works best for you? <sighs> Inhale is always on the back. Exhale. Squish the pillow using your ab muscles. Inhale into your back. One more. Open up and breathe. Bring your feet and your knees together. Let them drop to one side. Use your whole body to sit up. Change the orientation of your pillow so that your pillow is now wide. When we lie down, this is going to go around like ribs, low ribs, upper low back. Head will be off. Uh, pelvis will be off. and breathing into whatever's touching the pillow the most. Exhale, just making space for the pillow to fluff up. Inhale. One more of those. Then open your arms to the letter T. Holding there. Then we're going to take right hand, reach it over to the left. Not so that all of your body lifts, just a little bit of a reach, right? So maybe my uh, right shoulder, your right shoulder is off and I'm squishing the left side of the pillow. Where do I breathe? Whatever's touching the pillow the most. Exhale, center. Reach, breathe. Reach, breathe. Reach, breathe.
One more each side. Breach, breathe. Breach, breathe. Now, if that's enough work for you, keep doing that. If not, hands go behind the head. My right elbow is going to lift, and it's really going to try to touch left. So you can see it's more dynamic. I breathe into whatever is touching the pillow. Exhale. Breathe. Exhale. Breathe. Breathe. One more each side. Relax and breathe. Bring your knees and your feet together. Let them drop over. Use your whole body to come up. Now, we're going to keep it width-wise here. And I'm going to lie down. I suggest it will be easier if you have this pillow touching your left ribs. So we're just using the same language. Lying down. I'm going to have my knees bent. This arm is just going to be here supporting me as a pillow. <clears throat> this arm, whatever works. I'm going to breathe into whatever's touching the pillow. Exhale. Again. One more. This arm's now going to reach out in front of me. This hand stacks on top. Arm is going to open, and I breathe into whatever is touching the pillow the most. Exhale. This arm now reaches in front. I breathe into whatever is touching the pillow the most. Center. You can see that when you open up behind you and you breathe, that's the back of those left ribs. Exhale, center. When I go forward, that's the front of the left ribs. One more each location. And over here. <sighs> From there, let this arm sort of serve as a pillow again. And just breathe into that pillow here. And decide what works best for you. As you lift that top leg, a little clamshell, and lower it, does an inhale or an exhale make this exercise easier to do? Does your inhale happen on the way up or on the way down? Does your exhale happen on the way up or on the way down? What works best for your body? What feels supported? Two more. One more. And relax. Let's do the other side. Well, let's actually just sit up for a moment. I invite you to notice any differences, maybe right side or left side. Do you feel the back of your body any different? Do you notice anything different? How is that breathing practice different than how you originally breathed? Might be the same. Probably not, but it might be. Now, let's do the other side. Coming down, we're just going to do a few breaths here. Ah, 
breathe into whatever is touching the pillow the most. When you're ready, arms out in front, I open up and I breathe into whatever is touching the pillow. Center, forward. Center, open up, inhale. Center, exhale. Forward, inhale. Exhale, one more. <sighs> Head rest, leg lift and lower. It's classic clamshell exercise. Where does an inhale feel helpful? Where does an exhale? feel helpful, building up those discernment skills, choice. Two more. One more. And rest. Use your whole body to come up. Switch the orientation again, long ways. This time we're going to lie down on our belly. Ideally, pubic bone is kind of off and head is off. I like to crisscross my arms to begin with. Now, where does the breath happen here? Whatever's touching the pillow the most. Inhale, squish your pillow. Exhale, relax, let the pillow fluff up. Inhale, let the inhale squish the pillow. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Now, if you're still trying to find the breath and its relationship to the pillow, stay here, do this. Or open your arms to what I call baby lizard position, sort of out wider than the mat, kind of hands in alignment with the shoulders. From there, my head can rest, and I'm going to push my left hand down. And you can see that kind of yaws and rocks me to the right. I'm just pushing the right side of the pillow. So where do I breathe? Right side, right? Breathe, inhale. Exhale, center. Right hand pushes down. I squish the left. Exhale, center. Relax, right side. Exhale, right hand pushes. Relax, now take an inhale, squish the pillow. Exhale, push down with your hands. And see if your pelvis belly button area can push down and squish the pillow. Inhale, breathe forward into the pillow. Exhale, push your hips down, squish the pillow to lift up. Inhale, breath squishes the pillow. Exhale, action squishes the pillow.
and then rest. If you found one of those two sequences difficult, either just the breathing or the yawning, rocking, or the up and down thing, stay there. I, uh, <laughs> I advise you to stay there. Or you're ready for more. Switch it widthwise. We're going to start with this up in the front of the ribs, top upper ribs. Hands go here. Inhale. Squish, exhale, whatever is, uh, whatever portion of your body is touching the pillow becomes the fulcrum point. Squishing the pillow with the action. Inhale, squish the pillow with breath. Exhale, squish the pillow, and that becomes the fulcrum point, the point in which your spine is getting the extension, the movement. Sometimes when we're doing like cat cows, cobras, spinal extension, swan, whatever you want to call it, we just sort of do the action versus considering where am I moving from? Think of all of the joints in the spine. All of those are possible fulcrum movement points. We're going to play with that. If that is doable, I can make it harder, more work, by placing my hands down, moving my forehead to my hands, breathing, exhaling, coming up, inhale, exhale, inhale. Now I can stay there or I can move the pillow down a bit. New fulcrum point. Start, baby lizard. Move to something harder if it feels doable. Stay there or move this down even further. That is your new fulcrum point. Choose whichever version works best for you and do three there. Rest. Use your whole body to come up. You may need to do some reset, some breathing, some orientation. For me, I'm going to finish off. We just did a lot of uh, not only exercise and breathing, but a lot of nervous system work. Waking up new portions of your body. Feel free to kind of explore and play. I'd like to end this series um, waking up hands and feet, getting that uh, sensory action, sort of like kids wanting to play in Play-Doh or Singer. So I just take my hand, I just sort of manipulate the pillow, thinking a cat needing a, a pillow or a bed, using all of your fingers, all of your joints, all of the palm of your hand. Maybe even closing your eyes. Now, for the sake of class, I'm going to move on, but you could do that more. I like to then, by no means is this a balance challenge. So if you need to hold on to something, do that. Start with one foot and just sort of knead with the foot. My toes can move. I can do the outside of the foot, the inside, the heel. We'll be working with feet again at some point, but this is like tiptoeing into foot. Now I can do the other side or I can do both. Sort of rock, play, just wake up my feet a little bit. Wake up that nervous system a little bit. 
even some orientation and sign. <sighs> and then come off. Maybe just take a moment and appreciate anything you notice that feels different than how you normally feel. Now, place your hands on your heart. Take a nice deep inhale into your own heart. Tell yourself thank you for showing up. You did a really good thing for yourself. In particular for today, take a look at your room, especially that pillow. Tell your room, your space, your environment, and your partner for today, the pillow, thank you. I want you to, every time you look at a pillow, every time you look at something soft and squishy, that's something to move with, against. Then take a look at anyone you see on screen, anyone in the room with you. Thank you. Thank you for inviting us into your community and for being a part of ours. I'm James. This is Move Lab Dynamic, and I'll see you sometime soon. Thank you, everybody. Hello, everyone. I do apologize for the sound issues today. That's a, a first for us. Um, it sounds like everyone was having a little something different going on. So um, I have a couple of questions just so we can help troubleshoot so it doesn't happen again. For those of you who it was cutting in and out, was this the first time that that has happened for you? If you can just put it in the chat. Did it get better um, after we kind of started messing with things? Um, and then um, I did get some messages from some of you that once you turned it up or minimized your screen, for some reason the sound came in. So I'm not really sure what happened, but we will definitely um, work on having that not happen again, hopefully. <laughs> um, but thank you guys so much. So we have um, tomorrow Move Lab Dynamic. I know James just said Move Lab, Lab Dynamic, but this was Foundations. Um, tomorrow's dynamic at 12.15 and uh, reset and restore on Friday. If you have any questions for James, feel free to reach out to him, um, james at jamescrater.com. Um, he's, uh, today was a recording, but he's happy to um, answer any questions you might have. We are still working on the recordings. Um, Raymond, if you wouldn't mind uh, getting that link in uh, the chat again, like we did the other day, that would be great. It's hard for me to multitask when I'm talking and try to find a link at the same time. Um, so we'll stay on for a few minutes if you guys want to um, grab that link. And other than that, thank you guys for today. This uh, looked like a really good foundations class. I wish I was able to participate, but I was trying to fix the sound. So, all right, you guys, I uh, hope to see you soon. Thank you again for your patience today.